Good afternoon everyone. For this week's video, well, I just thought I would play around and do some makeup. I haven't done like a dedicated sit down makeup video in a while. I've just done like little bits and pieces of like me going out to events and things like that. I haven't really just sat down and played in a little while. So that's what's happening today. I'm just popping on some moisturizer. I'm just using my O Cosmetics Immortal Cream as my moisturizer. So yeah, I don't really know where I'm gonna go with it. We'll see how we go. Okay, next I'll go in with some primer. I might use this one, so it's MAC Skin Base Visage. This one's really nice because it's got a bit of a grainy texture and it helps to kind of smooth over like your pores and spots and things like that. So let's just do like a pump and a half. And it makes your skin feel really like soft and silky afterwards. It does have a bit more of a matte texture to it though. So now I'll just spray a little bit of Fix Plus. This is just the coconut scented one. Because I did get, once again, I got like a tiny bit of colour in my face on the weekend because I once again, forgot to put on my tinted sunscreen. It's every day that I'm like, no, I'll let my skin breathe today. And I get burnt, so. I might use this one. It's um, the Maybelline Fit Me, um, Fit Me Foundation in the shade 120 Classic Ivory. I don't really use this one at all, only because as some of you might know, I literally only use um, my tinted sunscreen nowadays or if I am wearing makeup I wear like my face and body MAC face and body which is a very very light coverage I don't really use any of my foundations at all like any other foundations um, but yeah since we're playing around and I'm not sure how this color is gonna go because I am quite yellow but oh yeah that's quite good cool all right just onto my little sponge just gonna This one. Yeah, because I have been using a tinted, tinted sunscreen every day for like probably three months now. When I put foundation on, it looks so weird to me because I'm not used to seeing all my like blemishes get covered up because the tinted sunscreen is like no coverage at all. But I literally only wear foundation if like I'm going out for the night, like to dinner or something, if I'm going to a festival or a party or an event, something like that. Or if I'm doing makeup like this, like just kind of playing around. I'm going now with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. Even with the Maybelline themes. I should definitely do like a one branded video. Might just, I'm just going to add a little bit more just around these areas. do like a glam. If I'm gonna do glam I might change my shirt then. Glam makeup and cash shirt do not go together. That's better. It's for cream concealing I'll use my NARS Liquid Laguna bronzer and just on my little sponge. Just to set that bronzer in place, I will use, let's go with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer in medium deep. Only because I don't want to use anything too orangey, like give me sun. Only because I am a little bit pale, I only really use give me sun if I'm feeling bronzed or tanned. This one's really nice just for like fairer skin, or fairer than what I normally am. For blush, I'm gonna go into, um, I might use, let's go with, um, yeah, just Cubic, which is that one.
a highlighter I will use. Where is it? Mary Luminizer. Just that one. I might spray my face with some more Fix Plus just so the highlighter kind of glows a little bit more. Might also do my eyebrows off camera because I find eyebrows are a very personalized thing. Everyone has their own way about doing their own eyebrows. So just to save a little bit of time. And I'll also set underneath my eyes with some Mary Luminizer. Mary Luminizer. Laura Mercier. I might just contour my nose a touch just with this. So we have a Luxe paint brush. There we go. I might use Hoola Bronzer. Hoola by Benefit. Moving on, so I'll just set underneath my eyes and my eyelids um, and then I'll also do my eyebrows off camera. See you in a bit. Alrighty, eyebrows are done and I have set underneath my eyes so we are on my eyes. So we are ready to move on to eyeshadow. Alright, so I'm going to do like a really glamorous date night kind of thing. So I might try and also use palettes that I don't that I don't use. Um, so like using products that, using more colours that I don't normally pick up just to spice it up and make it a bit more interesting. So I might go into like my Naked Heat, my Naked Heat palette. Not that I really do my makeup much anymore, but I don't really like tend to go to that palette. I normally always, normally always go for my Modern Renaissance, which is very dirty. Wow. I also have like in this naked one, like the first naked palette. Um, I also have this Power Hungry one from MAC, which is just kind of like gold kind of colors, which would kind of go well with like our necklace today. First of all, I'm going to dip into Naked from the Naked One palette, which is just this one here, just on a very fluffy brush. And this is just going to be like our starting colour. The only problem is that I can't do an eyeshadow unless it's warm. Unless it's a warm eyeshadow like with oranges or reds, anything like that. So if I do like browns, I just feel like I need to add orange, warm it up. But we're just going to stick to our guns. Now I'm going to go into Naked Heat palette. Low Blow, which is... This one here, say like a fluffier brush like that, like a smaller condensed fluffy brush. And I'm just going to put that just like in the crease. See how this kind of still has a sharp line to it? I'll just keep like adding and blending away until, yeah, like I'm happy with it. Okay, so next I'm going to, I'm probably going to do the like the cut crease now just so I can see the colors together and kind of add in what I need to and make it darker. And so yeah, this one is um, from MAC Cosmetics. It's the Dazzle, Eye, Dazzle Shadow Liquid um, in Beam Time. A really nice like rose goldy color. I'm just gonna do that like just on the inner half and then just like blend it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna add in like more brown and just to kind of melt it together. I'm gonna go in with matte rosin because it's kind of like a warm, warm brown. I'm just going to take that on like a smaller, more petite fluffy brush like that. And now time for mascara. I'm going to use Kwan Expert Mascara. I'm 
set clear gloss. I'm just going to use Trusty Old Model Co. This one is called Strip Tease. It's just like, yeah, like a nice nudey peachy colour. Final spritz of Fix Plus. Fun little fact, I mentioned this is my this in my first um, first video, my welcome video. I've worked at MAC Cosmetics, so I do have a lot of their products and I do know a lot about their products. Fun fact, Fix Plus has glycerin in it, so it makes your skin look really glossy and polished and like doll-like, I guess. So it adds like a nice sheen to your skin. In. I hope you enjoyed me kind of just playing around. I did actually want to do a dedicated makeup video and use some products that I don't normally use. For example, the eyeshadows and that foundation. I've never used that foundation. I've used it once and I think it was the wrong color at the time because I had a fake tan on or something and I've just never used it since because I had a bad image of it in my head that it was the wrong color. But now that I am quite pale, it did suit me quite well and also the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I haven't used this in honestly years because once again I have tanned and like it's just been too grey for me. There was a few products in today's video that I just don't use and I should use them because you kind of forget about products that you have and I just have so much that I don't use and someone actually said to me they'll like try a video where use some products that you don't normally use like but I probably will do like a full dedicated video of products that I don't use it might be like a bit of a fail video because I've got so many foundations that I don't use because they are just the wrong color or I need them I need a fake tan for them like even that for example like that is just so pale for me now so I might do like a whole dedicated video of like products that I don't use because they're like the wrong color and whatever you know, so hope you enjoyed this week's video. Stay tuned for next week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.